In today's video, we talk about what is toxic positivity and find the real annoying truth about it. Because for most creatives, positive advice might cause internal roadblocks for us. So by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what toxic positivity is and if it's even affecting you. So when you're ready, roll the tape. So what exactly is toxic positivity? Well, first, let's start off with what it is not. It's not optimism. Instead, it's overgeneralized, projected positive thinking to extreme. It minimizes and denies any trace of human emotion that isn't strictly happy or positive. So here is an example of toxic positivity, and it is extreme, but, you know, stay with me here. You're walking out of a funeral for a family member and you're trying to hold it all together. The emotions, you're trying to put on a show for everyone else to not really show your sadness. And then someone else comes up to you and they say, cheer up, suck it up. You have a, another funeral to get to because another family member recently died and another half of the family is at that funeral and it's telling you to be strong and you know, move forward from the loss that you're experiencing because they don't quite understand it the same as you. I know that sounds very extreme, but that's something that I went through. And I totally empathize with what people now call toxic positivity because according to verywellminded.com, and I couldn't say it better myself, toxic positivity causes guilt. It sends a message that if you're not finding a way to feel positive, even in the face of tragedy, that you're doing something wrong. So how can you spot toxic positivity happening to you or you possibly doing it to someone else? Well, the easiest way is to listen to phrases like, just stay positive. Look on the bright side. Happiness is a choice. It's your fault that you're not choosing to be happy. While these phrases are well intended, they're actually negating the emotion of the person that is actually experiencing the problem. So again, Think in your life of where you might have experienced toxic positivity or maybe you've projected it. And it doesn't have to be something that is extreme as a funeral. It could be something as, as like losing a job, a breakup, a competition. Any situation where someone would say something like, cheer up, or any of the words mentioned earlier. If it's okay for me to share. At the time of the funeral that I mentioned, that situation completely shut me down. And I know that family member had well intent, but from that moment on, I started to hide parts of myself because I didn't want to deal with those type of emotions when, when someone's trying to say something positive to you, but it makes you feel like the totally opposite of that. In fact, that one comment alone like created a pattern of negative patterns that stuck with me for years and took a year or so to start to unravel, which ultimately led me to the path of personal development over 15 years ago. Honestly, I don't know if I'm using toxic positivity on myself right now, but if I didn't go through that experience, it wouldn't let me to going through personal development to working on myself to ultimately working with people to help them with negative self-talk and identity shifting. I wouldn't be recording this video right now. I wouldn't have worked with people to help them with their mindset. I wouldn't have done the work of myself with personal development, right? I guess the difference though, with toxic positivity, you're forcing that choice on someone. You're telling them to become positive when they're not ready to. And that causes a whole bunch of different types of emotions that really don't help that person. It's their choice to find their own conclusion with whatever emotions that they're feeling inside. And to bring this all home, it's the difference between forced advice and just being there for somebody and listening. And if you wanna say anything, possibly just asking supportive questions, but letting someone just get to their own conclusion. So I'm interested on what your take is on toxic positivity. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.